family time. Is that right? Yes. That's right. Feeling good. I got to watch a little USA basketball, your little UFC fighting. Mm -hmm. uh, listen to Mr. Lock T. Talk to Matt Lauer the whole bit. Football. Let's yeah. get it on. We got a few things Let's to get discuss. It on. Let's get into it. So coming up, LeBron says Kevin Durant joining the Warriors is good for the NBA, but do the guys believe him? Find out a bit later in the show. But first, we start with more gold in Rio. Melo now the most uh, decorated male basketball player in Olympic history. He also said this will be his last Olympics. Stephen A., how do you view Melo now? Well, I view him the way that I've always viewed him. Carmelo Anthony, to me, is a superstar offensive talent. Uh, he is somebody uh, that is an Olympic gold medalist three times over now. From an international perspective and from a collegiate perspective, there is no doubt in our minds that Carmelo Anthony is destined for the Hall of Fame in that regard. But I think it's important to recognize and admit I don't give a damn about anything that I just said. None of that is relevant to me. I don't care. I haven't cared since Melo won his first gold medal. As far as I'm concerned, you want to make a big deal out of three. Um, I'm not trying to poo-poo it. It's just that I expect Team USA to be dominant. We're the best basketball players in the world, and when you assemble marquee players together, I expect you to dominate the world. It would be a story to me if they lost. It's not that big of a story to me that they won when it comes to basketball. I'm not talking about anything else with you, Team USA, just the basketball team. Uh, having said all of that, as it pertains to Carmelo Anthony, my man, nothing but love for him. But I'm a native New Yorker. I'm a diehard Knicks fan. And the last time the New York Knicks had been championship relevant was 1973. I was five years old. My sixth birthday was three and a half months away. And I am now 48 years of age. That is over 40 years since the New York Knicks have won a championship. And I want to apologize to Carmelo Anthony, his family, and everybody else because I am not trying to poo-poo in any way what he accomplished. But it doesn't mean anything to us in New York City. It doesn't mean anything to us uh, who are diehard New York Knicks fans. We are starving for gold. And I'm looking at Carmelo Anthony, and again, the gold means everything to him. I respect that. I understand it. You're the one playing. You're the one who put in the hard work. You deserve it. But I think it's important. I'm not saying that Carmelo Anthony doesn't understand it, but I think he needs to be reminded of the fact that back here in New York City, we are looking at you and we, we're seeing the celebration. We're seeing the euphoria. We, uh, we saw, you know, uh, you know, a shred of tears or something. We saw all of that. And we... You know, NATO, I, I think I'm accurately speaking on behalf of New Yorkers. I haven't spoken to all New Yorkers, obviously. But I believe, as a native New Yorker, born and raised, born in the Bronx, raised in Hollis, Queens, New York City, okay, that played all around the city, couldn't shine Carmelo Anthony's shoes as a basketball player. Fair enough, but this is my domain now. I think it's fair when I say that I am speaking on behalf of native New Yorkers everywhere. When I say this... We, 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 we saw the celebration and we sitting up there looking like, all right, you know, okay, you got the gold, but you know, what about that other kind of trophy? You know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, in the Larry O'Brien trophy, what about that kind of trophy? What about the championship ring? I mean, that's what we're looking at. That's what we're looking at. And again, I don't want to sound unpatriotic or anything like that because I understand representing the United States of America and winning gold is a very, very big thing. But I do believe it's significantly bigger, Max, for other sports than basketball players, you know, dream teams and different versions of the dream team and what have you. Carmelo Anthony is a superstar being paid nine figures. Carmelo Anthony has never played in an NBA Finals. And I'm not saying you got to pull that off because we all know LeBron is the favorite. He deserves to be the favorite. And if you're going to lose to anybody, lose to LeBron. But at least get to a point where you're saying, I'll be damned if I'm going to lose to anybody else. Somebody going to take me out. It had better be LeBron, particularly in the Eastern Conference. Because to me, anything else is unsatisfactory. I'm looking at him and I'm going like, all right, I, I congrats. Congratulations on the goal. But... You know what gold I'm looking for. And that has not changed one bit. On this topic, as you did, you have to preface yourself by saying, hey, it's not that I'm patriotic. It's not that I don't love America. Root for Team USA, 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 go Team America. I, I, you know, uh, Team USA, I get it. 
And that's the way I feel, too. And if someone gets swept up in that emotion after having sacrifice for their families, as Carmelo said, or sacrifice spending time with their families, I understand it. It's a sacrifice in that respect, et cetera, et cetera. So that said, there are two reasons why, if you're an NBA fan, a Knicks fan, or a Carmelo fan, you should have raised uh, arched eyebrows right now. Number one, it feels like an excuse for being chipless. It feels like when you need three gold medals that um, it's a little excessive, it's redundant, it's why do you need to keep doing that? It's compensatory. What are you compensating for? Well, the obvious idea, as you mentioned, he never even got to a finals, mm -hmm. but is the fact that he hasn't won a ring. But I think it goes beyond that, Stephen A. Look, you've criticized Kevin Durant for joining a super team and creating a super duper team in, in, in chasing a, a ring. And people have criticized LeBron for going to play with his friends down on South Beach and creating a super team to win a ring. Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, and then Kyrie and Kevin Love. Well, think about it on two levels. One, you're compensating in a sense, or at least it gives that impression to me, that you're compensating for the fact that you don't have a championship. And maybe you don't think you're really going to have a shot at one. And so you need three Olympic gold medals. But two, you're creating a super team to do it. The, the, the men's USA, and not to mention the women, but we're focusing on men's basketball right now, Team USA, you have nothing but NBA all-stars and superstars on the same team playing against largely non-NBA rosters, certainly not all-star caliber rosters. So when you think about it, it compounds the idea that it's taking the easy road. One, you're going gold after gold after gold when really what you're being paid for is to win championships. And two, even then, even to get the gold, it's not like you're the one good player on an otherwise scrappy team. You are playing with, uh, other than the handful of players who've done it already, they don't want to do it again, they're injured, they're a little bit older. You're playing with all NBA All-Stars to do it. It makes it worse. By the way, you say you were three months shy of your sixth birthday. When the last time the Knicks won, I was born in 73, in August. That was in January. I wasn't even born the last time they won a chip. I'm 43. I mean, but Carmelo Anthony, we have to start questioning not only the desire, Patrick Ewing, you felt like he was willing to do anything to win a championship, just wasn't quite good enough in the Jordan era to get it done. Charles Barkley, you also got the sense it was really important to him, but, wasn't quite good enough in Jordan and then Olajuwon's era to get it done. Carmelo may not be good enough, but in addition to that, feels like maybe he doesn't want it enough. Let me say this. There is no shame in Carmelo or anybody else not being good enough to beat LeBron James. No shame in that whatsoever. LeBron James is the best in the world, period. There's nothing to discuss any longer. There's just nothing to discuss. What I'm saying is... If you going to lose, lose to him. It, you got to get to a point. And I'm not saying that Carmelo Anthony doesn't feel this way because I know the brother well enough to know how much losing irks him. But also that, that visual, that facade, it matters. And when folks see you celebrating the gold medal, there's a difference between celebrating because you want a gold medal and celebrating like, okay, this is it. And what I mean by that is this. When you look at it, Carmelo Anthony, I don't know if he sees it this way, but as you watched him be so happy about the gold medal, in fairness to him, you want to leave it at that. But if you're a cynical New Yorker, which at times I obviously am, then you're looking at him and saying, do you believe that the Knicks have a chance? Because if you're celebrating a little bit too much, maybe it's because you say to yourself, this is probably the last damn celebration Better I'm going to have party. because I don't know if my team's going to win, which makes me look at Phil Jackson, which makes me look at James Dolan and others and say, damn it, get him the pieces that he needs. Do something. Even though the roster has improved. Why is it so it is, difficult for them to get him because, to pieces? Well, well, again, again, you've got salary cap issues, but you also have the fact that you've got a Zen master in Phil Jackson, who's the president of basketball operations, whose definition of traveling is going home to L.A. I mean, the only road trips he made last year was to L.A. There ain't no damn road the trip. That's is, where he lives. The other thing I mean, is, it's ridiculous. As much respect okay. as Carmelo has what? from his peers as a scorer, their behavior, his peers' behavior, sp speaks louder. 
which is I don't see a clamoring of other NBA stars forcing their, self, their, their way to New York. In yeah. other words, they look at LeBron, they go, that dude is a guy who I can win a championship with. Look, they look at Durant and Steph the same way. They look at the elite of the elite the same way, and the behavior of other, other NBA players, in spite of the lip service they give to how fantastic he is, mm -hmm. I don't see them forcing their way to the Knicks. That is true, but here's the deal. That's why you have to hold them accountable. Phil Jackson is getting paid six times more than an executive in his position is getting paid. Now, you got 11 championships, but that was as a coach, not as an executive. You're a novice executive. Even though he's done a, a decent job, the record is 49 and 115. I know I'm trying to call that decent, but you see the roster improve and we go from there. But in the case of Carmelo Anthony, his style of play, et cetera, et cetera, doesn't lend itself towards people gravitating to play with them. Fair enough. But in the end, what it comes down to is this. We need to look at you and know that it hurts you just as much as it's hurting New Yorkers to lose because people are starving. And when I look at Carmelo Anthony, I consider him one of the top 10 offensive players of this generation easily. And I look at him that way and I'm saying, yo, Melo, LeBron standing in your way is one thing. I don't expect DeMar DeRozan and Kyle Lowry to be standing in your way, no disrespect, because they could play. I don't expect even, even the great D. Wade, when you know how I feel about D. Wade, with Jimmy Butler and Rajon Rondo, I don't expect Doug McDermott and Todd Gibson and them to be contributing to might keep it mellow. You and, might be overrating uh, mellow. Uh, well, I don't believe that. I don't believe that I am overrating mellow. I believe that it is time. Mello has gotten to a point where it is time to hold him accountable for the Knicks not making the playoffs. Make the playoffs this year. Get a little deeper into the playoffs. Challenge. And by the way, because I don't know if you've ever seen Mello against LeBron. I'm sure you have. Mello gives it to LeBron. Mello, I mean, this is not, it's not like LeBron punks Mello. Nobody does that to Mello. Mello is going to get one his. One-on-one, on one, you and, can't and, stop listen, him. No, one no, on Mello one. could go with Mello could go against anybody. So what I'm saying is, if I can say that about you, go down swinging. Go down swinging. Because when I watch you play, and I'm hearing about your leadership, galvanizing the troops for Team USA, and elevating them to gold medal status, I appreciate that. But under no circumstances, go ahead and enjoy. Like Kevin Durant said in post-game, being interviewed by Mark Schwartz, go home. Enjoy the gold medal. You put in the work. You deserve it. Have a good time. Take a few weeks vacation. But when you come back, understand that the real party begins. The real party. Not another party. The real party. And that is the NBA. I, it, you got to compete for this because time is running out. Mello ain't getting no younger. We're going to have to continue this. this. Yeah. We're going to have to continue Because number I'm, one, I'm he might you. not be just be good. In fact, he's not as good as you think he is, I think is what it comes down I to. I disagree and with number you. number two, I disagree why should he have you. to put on a show I, for I, you? The, 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 excuse me. A, a show of so, remorse well, when he might not just be good so enough. So the NBA me, season, not the after party. Let me say party. this. No NBA player, executive, football, no, no professional athlete has to put on a show for me. But just like they come in with what they do, I'm coming with what I do. Let Melo stink up the joint this year and watch how it's going to be. Let, 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 let any player does Mello, that and watch USA. how it's going to be. Let's get to another decorated athlete that's been Knicks dominating headlines regarding the Olympics. To be continued. To All right. be continued, my friends. U.S.